go to the tools panel in Illustrator and select like rectangle tool or star tool. I'm going to go with star tool. So star tool. Now you've got dynamic corners panel and there's also a dynamic corners tool you can find over in the tools panel. As soon as you select it, you'll see the panel appear. Now you can find that in the window menu, astute graphics and dynamic corners. Now that's part of astute graphics. There's trial versions, lots and lots of information on their website, plus demos, everything, freebies, much, much more. Really great website. So what does Dynamic Corners, the tool do? Well, Dynamic Corners tool, you can just modify the corners and you can see as you change that, it just modifies that corner and you can modify that corner. So it's individual localized changes, which is really nice. But it uses this information up here. So you can click on there and you can make it nice and rounded. So you've got a couple of different styles there. You can just click there, click there, click there, and so on. There's three, three different styles. Also, you've got here for methods as well, and they're useful does change it slightly using these different methods. So you can run through those. Now, you might not want to use that. What you might do, you might want to apply it to the whole thing or selected parts. So let's just remove that instead of undoing. So I'm just going to quickly create it again. And you can select, say, individual parts. So just select, say, those two parts. Then click there and then apply to selection. And you can see it just applies to that. I'm not going to do that, but I'm just going to put it because I want it applied to the whole thing. Click there and then apply to selection. So the whole thing has changed and you can see these interactive settings here. So you can just drag that down and you can drag that one down. You can drag anywhere and they will all move because it's applied to everything. 20 corners selected, it says there. And that's what it's doing. It's doing it to all of them. And you can modify it here. You can just, just change that value. Just go there, click up, up and down and you can see it just change. I must admit these one up and down sliders sometimes seem to always suddenly halt. They seem to, maybe I'm just not clicking exactly right. However, what you can also do, you can go through again those different styles or types. Doesn't actually indicate whether it's a style or type or something. It just says corner, a corner type. And also you can go, go for true, etc. Just run through it. Just try out all these different things. And you can also go to it like that and interactively create even more designs. Now you can also, with that, you can also go down here and you can remove selected corners, remove dynamic status of selected. So you can put it just to a, like a basically a normal shape and you can then work on, obviously do lots of other things with that design. Or you can always of course go to object and expand if you want to do it that way. So let's just remove that. Again, go back to the star and click there. Again, apply to selection, you can see all kinds of different designs. And of course, if you go to another shape, let's just go for another one, say rectangle, you can do exact same. Click there. And with that, you can see apply to selection. This time you can modify that and you can, now, because both are selected, you can see it changes both, which you might not want particularly, but obviously you just have to be careful what you keep selected. So let's just deselect that. So it makes sure that's selected. Weirdly, it ends up selecting both which is a very odd feature. And of course you can still modify individually as well. There are slight odd quirks, and I have to say, I love this tool, it is really good, but there are some oddities that you think, hmm, that just seems strange why it doesn't work one way and sometimes works another way. But however, I think generally it's a very powerful tool, very useful, but there are odd things like that where it seems to suddenly decide, you know what, I'm going to select everything and change all of it, even though there's no rhyme nor reason why it should. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.